oh my god hi guys good morning has it been a while and let me tell you i am looking very different to when you last saw me the post surgery glow up is real i'm not gonna lie to you this is literally the first day that i've done my hair i've done my makeup and i'm feeling fully human again and i must admit i do feel like sometimes it's those little things that really do help this is the first time i put makeup on in literally a week and I feel so much better for it. I am so excited to be back this morning. Oh my goodness me, we have got so much to catch up on. Where to begin? Well, obviously the last video you would have seen was my little kind of like goodbye just before my knee surgery, my steroid knee injection. And I was so anxious in that video. I was literally editing back, kind of laughing at myself because I can literally hear my voice like shaking as I am talking. And there's always the way where like, when you get through the other side you're always so much better than like you kind of thought although I won't lie it was as bad as I remember you know when sometimes you think you're like am I gaslighting myself like am I kind of like hyping it up more than it needs to be am I remembering it worse in my head I wonder if that's what it's like when it's like comes to pregnancies and things like that like when you have your second child you're like oh I'm sure it won't it wasn't as bad as I actually remember like I'm sure it'll be fine this time and blah 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 and then you kind of like have it done and you're like oh wow no this is just as bad as I remember it's just as awful it's just as painful bless Alex took me to the um I mean it's called a surgery but it's like obviously not really like a fully surgery surgery type thing um like it's just like an outpatient surgery but Alex took me um and I literally like hobbled out and I kept it's really horrible because when you first get it done basically I think it's mainly just kind of like a a trauma response and it's like your body I would just get these waves of nausea I think it's mainly like the waves of when I would feel the like injection in my mini because it's obviously like moving about moving things in there and I would just get these like waves of nausea and we were driving home and I would just like grab him and be like oh 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 and he's just like are you okay are you all right you're okay so yes it was a long week I'm not going to lie a long week of recovery but I really did everything that I could to try and like speed up my recovery and I do feel like I've done a lot better this time around than I did last time like I think last time I was out for about 10 days whereas it's, it's exactly a week since I had the surgery done and I'm already back on my feet I'm already putting makeup on doing my hair and getting back to work which makes me really really happy I've actually been swimming at the club every single day this last week thank goodness we've had really nice weather this last week because I love swimming in the outdoor pool I don't like swimming in the indoor pool so it's really really lovely to be able to get outside get moving with my knee when I say I've been swimming every single day the first two days I literally just walked through the water like I was not swimming at all and I'm sure everyone else that was there at the pool was probably looking at me thinking what on earth is that girl doing because I was literally just having to like stretch out my knee get it moving try and kind of like get the motions going and also just kind of like get the steroid like moving in my knee and like settle it quicker and I definitely think that helped um so a week off from work a week off from filming but kind of like doing everything that I can with regards to like the physio the recovery and just making sure that I am like as I'm like as peak, I'm not gonna say fitness, but just kind of like health as I possibly can be. So feeling really, really good for that. I know it's only up from here and it's always so worth getting it done with regards to what I can do, exercise, running and all of that jazz. So I know it's always like worth the week of discomfort for six months of pain-free living. I also, you may have noticed, I'm looking very different because I have upgraded my hair and I've had a big, big old chop which I was so desperate for I've mentioned it quite a few times in videos my head just gotten so long to the point of like even when I straightened it and like curled it under it just was not bobbing anymore like you know I love my little bobby bob and it wasn't bobbing anymore and I also had kind of proudly said I'm like I haven't had my hair colored since like Christmas it's been so long like the root growth that I get from my colorist is insane because no one ever notices whenever I have roots and it wasn't until I actually sat down for the color appointment that he went so the last time I saw you for a colour, or like the last time we had a colour booked in, um, was November. And I looked at him and was like, no, no, don't be silly, it was Christmas. And he was like, yeah, Ellie, like the 29th of November. I was like, oh my God. So that is how long my hair had gotten. So my hair before now had pretty much like down to here just been completely natural. And we have gone back to the beautiful like honey 
golden kind of brondy color i feel like brond is the best description for it because it's definitely not blonde it's definitely not like bleached or anything like that i know i've spoken through what i do with my hair quite a few times so i'll leave a few videos linked down below if you want to know my hairstylist my colorist where i go to and what we get done um but i'm so so happy with how it's looking like it just looks so much healthier looks so much fuller as well i always feel like when i get it done it's like the volume just comes back to it and i'm so happy that i've got my little bobby bob back i feel like me again i feel like that's the best way to describe it upgrading my hair upgrading my life post-surgery glow up i am feeling like myself again so i'm so excited to be back to vlogging and back to filming with you guys i missed you let me know how you've been i feel like it's barely been any time for you but for me we've not caught up in ages so comment below let me know how you've been <laughs> Despite the fact that I am back working this week, I've tried to keep this week quite quiet with regards to work bits. I'm not going to be in London at all this week and I just wanted to kind of take it easy with regards to coming back into it. I was going to say I'm winding up but that's not right i'm gearing back up for work mode i'm also going away in just over a week's time which i'm really really looking forward to as well so we can do a little bit of pre-holiday prep i'm not gonna lie, I keep looking at myself in the view line because not only am i not used to my hair being this blonde and being this short but i'm also not used to seeing myself with a full face of makeup i say i've been makeup free for a week i'm not gonna lie to you there is one thing that i put on my face throughout the entirety of the week even when i was like swimming and stuff i cannot be without this i rediscovered my love for it because because you can use it like a moisturizer the pixie h2o skin tint i am absolutely in love with this in terms of skincare i was keeping it like quite stripped back and quite minimal um i was just using my clinique eye serum i did rediscover the vitamin c from sunday rally because i really wanted to make sure that i didn't come back you know when sometimes you've been like makeup free you've been on the sofa you've not been looking after your skin and you just look very like dull so i wanted to make sure that i had something that was going to keep me nice and glowy so the vitamin c i also used my ordinary hyaluronic acid which i absolutely love um and the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base which is just my favorite so i kind of just apply that all with my hands like literally takes me 10 minutes and then over the top of that i just use the pixie h2o skin tint and i absolutely love it i have it in the shade nude and it just gives you the tiniest tiniest little bit of coverage without actually feeling like you're wearing any makeup without kind of like looking like you're wearing makeup it just makes you look like you have very like perfected natural skin which is what i really really love so i feel like the fact that i've been really focusing on my skin this last week has definitely helped with regards to the post-surgery glow up and means that i'm not feeling as kind of like dull and like flat as I normally would like I really just wanted to make sure that I'm still looking and feeling like me but my goodness me does it feel good to have makeup on and does it feel good to be back vlogging you guys know me despite the fact that I obviously was off I was resting I was recovering especially as soon as I could kind of start moving again I want to try and be productive and I decided to tackle a few jobs that are like quite easy tasks things that didn't require too much brain power or too much movement and I've been doing a little bit of like organization and just sorting out with regards to a few of like my cupboards in this room in particular I wanted to do a little bit of a refresh and an upgrade one of the main things I want to upgrade is this little space here obviously you always see this like this section in my um YouTube shorts and like reels and stuff like that and I love it as a back Background, but I really wanted to just kind of like I don't know just style it up a little bit more um so I brought in a bouquet not a bouquet like a big floral arrangement that I've done these are faux flowers and I am definitely a faux flower girl through and through I do love my real flowers you know what I'm like I love my cat flower garden I love bringing things in from the garden but particularly with styling spaces I feel like faux flowers are just the way to go because they're not going to like you know go off they're not going to change they are just going to last a lifetime so I think the majority of these have come from different places actually there's quite a good few places that i shop for faux flowers home sense or tk maxx is an amazing one ochre do some really good faux flowers like i think these alliums are from ochre um and these ones that kind of spill over a little bit um you can also get them from a brand called peony uh which i will all link linked down below um but i've got them in this zara vase and i just love the like natural texture of the vase i love the roughness i feel like it's just the perfect thing on there um i also have been doing a lot of online shopping i've got lots of things to show you one of those pieces is this gorgeous new lamp that i picked up from 
Marks and Spencers. I feel like Marks and Spencers, I have just been like sleeping on it. It's so underrated and there are so many gorgeous things. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've not actually put a bulb in it yet. I do need to buy a bulb, but it's like a really tiny one that I need to shop for. Um, so I might just pick that up on Amazon or something. But I just loved this like little tulip shape. I just thought it was so, so gorgeous and I loved the brassiness. You can actually like change the angle of it. So I feel like this would make such a perfect either bedside lamp or table lamp for your desk because obviously you can angle it, you can make sure that it's like directed where Wherever you want it to be and especially as we're going to be going into autumn winter I want to be able to both use these and I feel like they're quite nice to like create a little bit of warmth in the videos um so yeah hopefully I'll be able to get a nice lamp uh, a nice bulb to put in the lamp and it will look really really cute in the background of my videos but I just loved that um and then obviously we've just got some styling over here of my live beautiful book and my Jo Malone favorite perfumes these are like my most reached for perfumes we've obviously got English pear and freesia and pomegranate noir um, which I really, really like. And then underneath here is just a little H&M home basket. I got this for my birthday from my little brother's girlfriend. Um, and I just put my silk scarves in here. This can kind of be a bit more seasonal, which I quite like. So at the moment, it's just got silk scarves that, you know, I always like do my hair with. I've got my Holland Cooper one, my Coach one, lots of like twillies in there that I can use throughout the summer. And then in winter, I can maybe put some like thicker scarves, gloves, things like that that I just want to reach for. Um, and then we've done a big shelf update over here as well, which I am absolutely loving. I really wanted a bit more greenery so what I've actually done you might remember that I had this for quite a while with these kind of allium style faux flowers again faux flowers these are all from home scents and this is a H&M home vase which I really really like but I actually decided to kind of combine two vases that I had and put them all together to create a bit more of like a wild and wonderful bouquet and I really like how it looks um, and then I've just stacked a couple of Jo Malone boxes together and I really like that as a background again this is like another like background that I use that I really really like and then I just want to give my shelves a little bit of a refresh and upgrade like I kind of liked the kind of foundations of it but I just wanted to change up a few of the positionings I wanted to change up the kind of like framing of it um and just make sure that it's kind of staying seasonal like at the moment we've got a basket bag down there that will be able to be swapped out in winter for something a little bit more kind of autumn winter appropriate so I've just brought my Mulberry Bay's water out of storage because I just love how she looks I think she's a really really great one to have on the shelves I've got my little coach pillow this mini one I love her so so much um I then bought some new faux flowers which again I just got from at home scent and just put them in this vase and I really like how they look I think it just adds a lovely little bit of greenery this is a vase I think I picked up from I think it's Robin's Nest which is an antiques place down here in um Hampshire it's like in Southampton um and I really really like how that looks um and then I think have these changed much yeah they may have I've changed the shell vase for up there which I really like how the shell like scallop detail matches the scallop detail on the lamp you know what I'm like I love a matchy matchy moment um so yeah really really liking how that's looking also done a big old wardrobe organize and I cannot tell you how much better this is looking this is the wardrobe that I have in our wardrobe room which I know is very very bougie to have multiple wardrobes but this is basically like my shirts jumpers jackets and skirts wardrobe anything that's not like long line um because obviously it's kind of like got the um the drawers underneath um so I've tried Try to organize this as best as possible and I actually think I've done a really really good job at like categorizing things and putting things in a bit more of like an order um so we've got on the end kind of like vests and like summery tops things that I just kind of chuckle with like linen trousers we've then got I can push this over we've got like a lot of shirts so I've started with my two Zara um like silky shirts satiny shirts my little river island one we then go on to like linen and cotton shirts that I wear with my trousers my favorite new little Zara one I love that one uh we then move on to t-shirts so just like jersey t-shirts and things like that we then go on to jumpers now obviously this is much more like autumn winter appropriate but I didn't really put most of these away because actually I find that I can reach for them in the kind of transitional period and with the weather that we had recently here in the UK I was wearing these in August um so we start with like my roll necks and it basically kind of goes from like the lightest to kind of like the thickest if that makes sense so we've got like a short sleeve roll neck like a little vest um and ones that I would just put as like layering pieces um we then go on to a couple of my favorite little striped jumpers and then 
cable knits. All of my Ralphie cable knits makes me realise how many I own. I've got black, white, green. I've got like a camel in a um, cashmere and then the camel in the classic. And then we roll onto um, roll necks and like cashmere jumpers. We then have blazers. Now I got rid of a lot of blazers actually because I just find I'm not reaching for them as much. The only ones I've really kept is this twill one. Then a couple of like daily ones so like this white one and this black one um oh, i've got this navy one as well which is like a bit more dressy so i've got blazers but also my twill jackets i definitely find that these are just more me what is that on the oh i thought i had a stain on it then panic no i do <gasps> is that a proper stain no it's just something yeah that comes off thank goodness so i've got my little phase eight one i've got my little h&m one and then my two river island ones and i really really like these because i reach for them a lot i then move on to capes this one seems to oh, need to find where that one went um i then move on to capes and cardigans which i absolutely love again don't really reach for until the weather gets a bit colder my fairfax and favor coat lives in here and again do not even touch this unless it's like december january time and then we go on to my gorgeous little skirts like my little river I not river island this is a new look polka dot one i've got some like silky ones satin ones ones that i just absolutely love oh my Cezanne pleated skirts i just love these so so happy with how this is looking like this took me so long to organize because there was so much in here like it literally got into the point where there was no movement and now i can easily fit so much more in there if i wanted to but i'm definitely someone that likes to have a bit of space that i can move things about i can can probably see what's in the wardrobe and then my clothes don't get as like creased and like as crushed up so i feel like it's just so much better with regards to clothes maintenance um speaking of one more thing i know you shouldn't hang jumpers but i just physically don't have the uh the folding space for them so i make sure to put them on velvet hangers and try and treat them as well as possible and i don't find that they really stretch like i think it's okay um if anyone's gonna come for me i know i shouldn't but unfortunately needs when needs must is that the word i'm looking for is that the phrase um but yeah really really happy with how organized this is now i feel like tidy wardrobe tidy mind you guys know what i'm like i'm not gonna lie to you guys i had one of the most exciting deliveries whilst i was recovering and the restraint it took not to open it unbox it and use it as a real like cheer me up but pick me up whilst i was recovering I cannot tell you how hard it was not to open this box, but I really, really wanted to, to be able to save it and open it for you guys. And I've actually just unboxed it over on my Instagram as well, because I'm actually working with Jo Malone over on Instagram. And Jo Malone have actually given me a code to give to you guys. Now, obviously this isn't a part of it at all, but you still do have, by the time this video goes live, you'll have about five days left to use the code. And Jo Malone never normally do codes. Like they never do discounts, like freebies or anything like that. So to be able to offer this, it just excites me so, so much. And this is literally my favorite collection from Jo Malone ever. So. I'll give you the code first before we unbox it because I know that that's what you're going to want and you're going to be straight over to Jo Malone's website. But if you use the code EMPAIR, so Ellie May Pair, EMPAIR, when you spend £120 at Jo Malone, you can get a free, and I mean free, complimentary English Pear and Freesia perfume and English Pear and Freesia body cream which is literally such an amazing deal. And you guys know I talk about English Pear and Freesia all the time. It's like my everyday favorite perfume from Jo Malone. It's so beautiful and really great, like layering, really great to wear every day, but you can like add different perfumes over the top. And if you've never tried it, this is a great opportunity to be able to try. So you can just get a top up of like your favorite things from Jo Malone, your favorite candles, your usual fragrance, like your everyday scents, and then be able to try the perfume and the body cream without any expense to you. Because sometimes it's really tricky to try a new perfume for the first time. And I know that I rave about it all the time, but for you guys to be able to actually like try it as a complimentary gift is so, so exciting. So EM Pair, I will leave everything that you need to know along with the links down below. But we need to unbox this because this is the full collection of the English pair and Frisia from Chimelin London, which honestly I feel so, so grateful to have received this. I'm gonna try and not let anything slip out, but <gasps> would you look at this? 
I cannot tell you how excited I was when this arrived. Like even without unboxing it, this was a proper pick me up and something to look forward to when it came to the post surgery recovery so that I knew when I was better, when I had my makeup on and I could unbox it properly with you guys. That's when I actually get to open up the products and try them out. So first of all, we have two perfumes of English Pear and Freesia. And if you watched my video, it was before the surgery, I can't remember, it was like weeks ago for me now, but I unboxed a few new Jo Malone bits, the Pomegranate Noir perfume, and I went through all of my Jo Malone perfumes with you, and I didn't realize, but I have like three or four English Pear and Freesia perfumes in this size, because these are so handy to have. I feel like Jo Malone doesn't always like shout about this size and a lot of people don't know that these are even available because obviously most people think that you just have to get the full size in each perfume but this is actually a limited edition bottle and I love it when they do that I've got a different limited edition bottle in my other English Pet and Freesia perfume but I really really love the kind of like crystal on this I think it's absolutely beautiful this is just completely plain and it's so so great for having in your handbag it's great when you're going traveling it is definitely Hair sticking to my lipstick then. It is definitely under 100 mil. Where does it say exactly how many it is? It's 30 milliliters. So perfect to take on a flight. Like you don't have to worry about it being too big. And I always chuck so many of these in my handbags. The amount of times that I come to a handbag and I'm like, oh, that's where that perfume went because it's so handy to be able to carry it around with you. I am someone that I, it's so important to me to smell good. Like I know I said this before I went in for the surgery, but I shower every single day, like even if I'm on the sofa, even if, when I'm like going through the recovery, like I had to get help in the shower the first time because we have like a bath, like a shower over a bath. So I had to like step up into it. Very tricky to do when you've just had knee surgery and a steroid injection in your knee. So I definitely had to have help with that on the first day that I showered, but it didn't matter. Every single day I got into the shower because I wanted to smell nice. I wanted to feel nice. Like it's really, really important to me. So having a perfume in my handbag is really important because I can just give myself like a little top up, especially if I'm going to like meet friends, see people. I know I'm going to give them a hug. There is nothing better and when you see a friend and the first thing they say to you is, oh, you smell amazing. You're like, thanks. I try. It's English Pear and Freesia from Jo Malone. Like, I am that person. I'm not a gatekeeper at all. I get everyone hooked on this perfume. I've got my mum on this perfume. I've got my sister on this perfume. I've got my friend on this perfume. So I'm going to get you guys on it too. And especially with the fact that you can get it as a free gift. <laughs> Another thing I'm most excited about, I'm not gonna lie, is the body cream. As I said, it's so important to smell nice. And even though I wasn't like putting on perfume throughout the week, I was still using like scented body creams because I feel like it's just so lovely. Like, especially if you're like talking or whatever and you just get that like waft and you're like, oh. Oh, I can smell my body cream. Like, I absolutely love it. And the Jo Malone body creams I don't find are, like I've had some body creams in the past that have been very oily and they kind of react badly to fake tan. I don't find that the Jo Malone ones are like that at all, but I've never tried the English Pet and Freesia body cream. So I'm really, really excited to have that in my collection. And these make like the perfect gifts. They are so weighty. They're really, really special. They're not the kind of thing that you would normally just like go out and buy yourself. So they're great for like an anniversary present, a birthday present, Mother's Day, Christmas. So I would definitely recommend finding out what your mum's favorite perfume is even being a way to like discover a new one. If maybe she has a favorite perfume, something that you would think that she would quite like, the English Pear and Freesia scent, you could like, buy for her. Cause also the Jo Malone fragrances all layer up so well together. So you don't have to wear the English Pear and Freesia body cream with the English Pear and Freesia perfume. Take a shot every time I say English Pear and Freesia. My goodness me. We then have the English Pear and Freesia candle. And I'm just gonna give this a whiff because I do find that between each kind of item, the body cream, the candle, the perfume, they all smell slightly different. Oh, that is just absolutely amazing. I feel like, cause obviously with the perfume, you're spraying it on your skin. So your body's obviously reacting to it and you're getting your kind of like natural parfum as you will. And this is very much like, this is very much like the pure version of it. So I would definitely go and recommend sniffing at this candle because mm, it just smells absolutely incredible. And I'm so excited to be able to burn this around my house. I feel like it's so special to have like your personal perfume as a part of your home. So really, really excited to add that to my Jo Malone candle collection. And then lastly, we have the reed diffuser. Now I don't think I've actually ever owned a Jo Malone reed diffuser now that I'm thinking of it, but my mum always has one in her house and it's always been like a dream of mine to have a Jo Malone reed diffusers around the house just filling my home with a set because again, there's nothing better than something that smells good. Just in the way that it's amazing when a friend compliments you when you hug them, there is also nothing better than when someone walks into your home they're like, oh, it smells good in here. You're like, thanks. 
months. I really, really work hard at making sure my home always smells amazing, so I'm really excited. I think this one's gonna stay in this room because I really want this room to like be very much like me. It will smell like me, it represents me. It's like my filming space, my office, my studio. So I feel like this, I might have to put on the shelves. You can see as well, by the way, how much I adore Joe Link. So I've had these boxes there for years. I've always used them as like decoration and styling. So that's also a great thing about these boxes is that when you get them, empty out the tissue paper and use it as styling and storage. I will keep like belts in here, scarves, sunglasses, nail polishes, like they're really, really handy. So the most exciting delivery to have received, especially the week that I just really, really needed it. Like I really needed the pick me up. I really needed help with my recovery. And so I'm so excited to be able to give you guys the codes that you can try my favorite, favorite collection from Cho Malone as a complimentary gift. So EM pair, everything will be linked down below. I am wasting no time in getting this baby out. I can confirm that this has been the easiest rediffuser to ever open. You know, most of them are like corks and I literally end up ruining my nails. I have to get like a knife or like a spoon to try and peel it off. This literally just came right off, which is so, so handy. So I'm gonna put just a couple of reeds in. I feel like whenever it comes to starting, you don't need too many, like two or three will probably fill the room with scent. And then once they start to kind of like, obviously soak up more oil, you'll want to put more in but i'm thinking to kind of complete the shelves there's like a little space here and i feel like this is just perfect to add to the shelf styling oh my goodness i am so so happy with this oh, i can smell it already it's absolutely incredible I might push it back just because i do not want that ever having to spill i do not want to ever have to clean that up oh that smells amazing i'm also going to get out the candle. I think I'm gonna replace it for the one that I've had here for ages. This is a Cezanne one and I've never actually lit it, but I might take that downstairs and light that. And I feel like I just want to fill this room with Joe Malone candles. Is it really bougie to have like one candle company, like one brand that you will reach for in like a particular room? I want this room to be like my Joe Malone room because I just absolutely adore the scents. What I also like about these candles is if you don't want to light them, you can literally take the lid off and you can still smell them. So I think I'm gonna take away this one. And then I've also got currently just sitting over here, the pomegranate noir if it will focus, there it is, which I absolutely love. The fact that I've got the two perfumes here as well, I feel like it's quite fitting to have the two candles. We've got English Pear and Freezer. This is the other one I've got, by the way, the other limited edition, as you can see, it's like a slightly different bottle. It's like lined, whereas the other one's more crystal. So I'm thinking of replacing my dip tea candle with the Joe Malone and then I can find another space for that and then this really does become like my Joe Malone room and we've got like matchy matchy candles and diffusers and perfumes oh this makes me so happy I'm going all out with the Joe Malone room I feel like I look like I can open my own little boutique with this but it's just so satisfying um so this is my old English Pet and Freesia perfume with the older limited edition packaging and then here is the new baby which if you want to get your hands on this oh, definitely recommend I mean the normal bottles are beautiful but I just love the limited edition bottles I feel like they just really add something um, and then I've got my pomegranate noir back there as well oh my goodness you will be so impressed with me not only did I sort out my wardrobes but I also had a big organize of these drawers because this drawer in particular always gets so out of hand it's a drawer that's very well used but also kind of like multifunctional it's kind of made up of two parts we've obviously got like beauty um, and perfect perfumes over on this side and then this side is like camera equipment so things like tripods memory cards um battery chargers things like that and i really need these to be accessible so i keep those on that side and then i keep perfumes on this side and these are all of my perfumes at the moment i actually had a bit of a clear out as well and got rid of a few um so as you can see chomelo london takes up the majority of my collection i've got my favorite um yellow hibiscus i've got my gorgeous little uh, scarlet poppy and then the other perfumes that I kind of have as like molten brown I put my Giorgio Armani wire so I don't reach them as much they kind of just stay in this drawer but I've got my travel Jo Malone's here and it just makes it so handy whenever I'm heading out the house especially because I'm usually grabbing like a spare camera battery a spare charger from here I'm often like in this drawer and it just reminds me to pick up a spare one so I can add my new little English pet and freesia into the mix and then it just means that when it comes to travel, whenever it comes to adding into my handbag, I have my choices down here. So that is looking very aesthetic and makes me very 
very happy as i said i feel like it's so important to always keep your smells like even when you're not feeling your best you want to be smelling your best so in case you're wondering what i was using during my recovery week it is this the elizabeth arden green tea honey drops body cream absolutely love this it just smells absolutely incredible it's like really thick and nourishing oh i love it it's got these like little orange kind of beads in which are almost like little the best way to describe them they're almost like little drops of hydration like they're drops of water that almost like burst into your skin oh i just absolutely love that so it's really exciting to have another body cream to add to the collection so i can keep these both by my desk i always like to have these things really like accessible so as soon as i get out of the shower give myself a lovely moisturization do my skincare routine brush my hair get into my pjs and i just spend the evening just like ah, oh, smelling absolutely incredible it has been so long since i've literally stood here to show you anything i feel like the camera looks squint i am so not used to this let's move this out of the way but obviously one thing that i did to keep me going whilst i was on my hospital bed slash the sofa <laughs> we called that my hospital bed it was literally just the sofa um one thing that i did do was a little bit of shopping i have quite a few things to show you but one of which have already arrived which i was really impressed with the delivery from forever new now you guys know forever new is just one of my favorite brands actually i feel like it's safe to say they have been my favorite brand to shop this summer this spring summer they have just released the most beautiful dresses like so many gorgeous styles so many gorgeous silhouettes and i have literally worn them all throughout summer and had so many compliments on them as well like you guys have been shopping them loads i get so many compliments every time i wear them in real life and on instagram which that's when you know they are some gorgeous dresses and if you don't know forever new they are a gorgeous australian designer they're an australian dress brand and Oh my word, they are absolutely stunning. I would describe them as the like more affordable version of Zimmerman. In fact, there's this trend that's been going around on TikTok and I kind of want to jump on it because I really love doing this as well. And I love looking into it. And it's, if you like this brand, you will like this brand. And it's often with regards to like, I'm not going to say dupes, but like more affordable versions of brands. So if you like Zimmerman, you will love Forever New. And I've seen a few on TikTok where it's like, if you like Kate, you will love Massimo Duty. If you love Totem, you will love Mango. Things like that, like there's some really, really, really gorgeous pieces in here that I feel like scream Zimmerman without the price tag like they are very much more of a kind of premium high street brand but especially the cost per wear that I've gotten out of these dresses already I am just absolutely loving them so I picked up three new dresses to add into my end of summer wardrobe and I feel like these are going to be the perfect dresses to like pull me into the autumnal months so let me show you what I've been picking up this first dress oh my goodness me this is just the most perfect end of summer dress i have ever ever seen this to me is very much giving me kind of like indian summer vibes like so so stunning i feel like up top it just looks like your classic white floral summery dress but when you see the skirt look at this i'm having to stand on my tippy 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 toes look how gorgeous this is we have so many stunning like autumnal tones running through this you've got the pinks you've got the peaches and then it runs into this gorgeous like sunshine yellow and i'm not normally a yellow girl i feel like forever new has really pushed the boat out with regards to the colors that i'm wearing like it's really pushed me out of my comfort zone and i'm loving it for that and this is just such a perfect dress for the end of summer for so many different reasons obviously the color palette of the dress was what drew me to it most but the shape of it the silhouette and the way that you can start it up is what makes it more of an end of summer dress for me now obviously i would just wear this with like slides and a little basket bag for now but as soon as the weather starts to get a bit colder you can wear a long sleeve vest underneath this you can wear leggings underneath the skirt and no one will ever know at the beginning of spring when we had like a really really cold march april i was wearing so many forever new dresses in this kind of like style and shape and i was just wearing thermals underneath it and nobody knew it's the epitome of nobody's gonna know and i absolutely love that so it's a great one that you can wear well into the autumnal month but if you are somewhere where it stays really hot but you want to just add those like autumnal tones into your wardrobe this is the perfect dress to do that i can't wait to wear this i feel like on holiday the kind of like sunset drinks oh this dress it's just gorgeous oh my goodness me would you look at this dress oh this is so so beautiful it's actually a lot more formal than i was expecting it to be do you know what this would make 
a beautiful September bridesmaid dress. Like, can you imagine just like four or five ladies in these dresses next to the bride in like a September wedding? You've got all those kind of like golden tones, those like sunset colours. Oh my gosh, a friend of mine actually had a wedding with sunset colours and it was the most beautiful thing I think I'd ever, ever seen. But you could also wear this for like garden parties, any kind of like summer events. I think it's just so, so gorgeous. I feel like you could just about get away with wearing this as a wedding guest as well because obviously there's not a lot of white there. I know we talk about this a lot, but it's not a huge amount of white. So I feel like this would definitely be acceptable. But I love the fact that you've got the elasticated waistband. It really pulls you in and cinches you in at your smallest point, which is super flattering. And I know I speak about this a lot, but tiered detailing in skirts is always so flattering as a shorter girl. So the fact that it has so much tiered detailing, it's almost like striped. It is gorgeous. It really elongates my legs and just pulls the eye up, making me appear a lot taller than I actually am. So this is a dress that I definitely think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. I think like sunset drinks on holiday, this would just be so, so perfect for. It's not too thick either. So great for summer. But as I said, you can layer up underneath, you can add thermals, you can add vests and things like that. The sleeves are sheer, but if you were to wear like a white vest no one would ever know the difference i've done that quite a lot with these kinds of dresses so the perfect little dress to take you from the end of summer into autumn oh my goodness me i just can't stop twirling i am so so in love this next dress is very similar in its style and shape but i feel like it's just a little bit less like much do you know what i mean like it's not as kind of like froofy the skirt's not as full it's a little bit more everyday wear which i love because i do wear these dresses every single day and i love the color palette through this dress as well it's super super similar to the one that i had that i was wearing back in march april time that's kind of like a white and pinky let's get it out this also was actually my engagement dress this is the dress that i wore when alex proposed to me and it was what i wore when we did our announcement and everything like that so these dresses really hold a special meaning to me and I love the fact that they're like same same but different this has got kind of a different like neckline and collar this is more of a v neckline but I just love the like sleeve detail put that one down so I can properly show you this one I love the sleeve detail and actually one thing I do recommend doing is actually just getting rid of the belt I love the fact that it comes with the belt it's really handy it's really great but I just find it a little bit unnecessarily actually do you know what this is hang on this is more similar to my white broidery one I feel like all these dresses they kind of have like a very similar style they kind of follow a similar sort of pattern and that's why I know I'm going to get the wear out of them so as you can see I've got this gorgeous like white broidery and it's got quite similar like puff sleeves that is what I was thinking of when I was comparing this dress yes similar to this one honestly I have far too many forever new dresses but I really do get my cost per wear out of them and that's how I know that they are great investments to add into my wardrobe and I don't have anything in this color palette and you know what I say whenever it comes to adding pieces into your wardrobe you are either upgrading replacing something or filling a gap and I feel like this is filling a gap with regards to the color palette with regards to kind of like the styling of it and I just thought it was such a gorgeous one again to add into my end of summer wardrobe another absolute beauty of oh, forever new you are just my favorite. I can't get over how stunning these dresses are. Again, so many design details that are just super, super flattering and also really elevate the dress and make it look like there could be an extra zero on the end of that price tag. It really does make it look very like Zimmerman-esque and it's styling, like the kind of like tiered detail to the skirt, the like frills, the kind of rah-rah frills. I absolutely love, but then I love the fact that it's a lot more simple on top. I think it's so gorgeous. Do you see what I mean when I say about these belts? They're definitely un unnecessary because it has that cinch and detail anyway and I find that no matter what they kind of like slip down a little bit so I just tend to take these off but I love the fact that the detailing just kind of stops at the top and it's very like plain and simple it just lets the floral pattern shine through but then at the bottom of the skirt is just so gorgeous and again a skirt that you can just twirl in you could definitely wear this to a wedding if you style it up these are great dresses in terms of like styling up or down most of the time I just wear them for like daily styling and I'll wear like a pair of slides I've just added my little June natural kind of like raffia slides because I feel like they are just quite understated they go with all of the dresses but you could easily wear a cute little pair of sandals style it up a little bit you could wear it with trainers when the weather starts to turn you could also even wear these with boots like, there are so many different styling options and I do feel like the color palette of this is a little bit more autumnal as well because it's a bit more muted and a bit more almost like earthy in the tones it really does scream like end of summer early autumn to me it's another gorgeous dress to add into my wardrobe now this last dress I am so so in love with this this is a very similar version to a dress that i wore all throughout spring i'll put photos here the gorgeous little kind of like pinky white mini number but 
again same same but different it's a slightly different colorway we've got like a more taupey kind of beigey color running underneath and the florals this gorgeous like purpley lilac color and i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe what i loved most about it is the fact that it's like a mid axi dress i have definitely discovered i am much more of a midi girl midis and maxi dresses are where it's at for me i don't find myself reaching for minis quite as much because i just personally find they're not quite as flattering on me and i feel so much more confident when there's like more being covered up but this dress i just thought was again so perfect for the end of summer i feel like this is the kind of dress you can style in lots of different ways for different occasions if you're looking for a gorgeous dress to wear to the office i think this is definitely one for you for me i would definitely wear this with like sliders sandals trainers for more of like a casual weekend vibe but you could definitely dress with this up with a gorgeous pair of sandals a cute little crossbody bag and it's like a perfect maybe like evening drinks outfit would you wear this to a wedding? Yeah, there's no white in this. You could definitely wear this as a wedding guest or even just like a garden party dress. This, I just thought was so, so gorgeous. I know I'm gonna get my cost per wear out of and I know I'm going to reach for time and time again throughout the rest of summer. And three times lucky, another gorgeous, gorgeous dress. A very different kind of style and silhouette from the others, like it's not kind of like puffy you've not got any detailing or like tearing to the skirt it's quite straight up and straight down actually you definitely need this belt to cinch you in and give you a little bit more of a silhouette and a little bit more of a waist but I do love it for that like I really love the fact that you could wear this smocked if you like you know that I've kind of reignited my love for smock dresses this summer I'm falling back in love with that style but for me I really like the like cinched in kind of shirt detailing I think it's really really beautiful I also love the fact that the buttons run all the way down I feel like buttons that are in the same kind of like pattern um and material always look so expensive i really really love that also love the fact that the cuffs are a little bit longer on this i think it really helps make the dress a little bit smarter like this to me does feel like beautiful elegant office wear which i really really like i need to steam the bottom a little bit but i love the skirt as well i love the fact that you just have that floral detailing just kind of like coming up and almost just like fading out i think it's absolutely beautiful so three gorgeous new dresses to add into my summer wardrobe to take me throughout the rest of the summer months not that i need any more forever new dresses but these are absolutely beautiful I just could not resist this is actually another wardrobe that I did a bit of a cull of and this is my dress wardrobe and obviously we've got the three new forever new ones to add in and I have made sure to make room I have like a bit of a one in one out system at the moment and I had such a big clear like I feel like it still looks quite full but you guys will know I have so many dresses and how many forever new dresses are actually in here really does go to show how amazing they are we've of course got my brodery one we've then got this gorgeous little black linen one with the like cut out side detail we then have the gorgeous sweetheart neckline ones we've got the white and then we've also got the like peachy bright pink one which i absolutely adore i've then got the white heart and neck forever new dress i've got this blue one um are there any more in here i think we then just have the one that i ended up getting engaged in so so many forever new dresses considering how many different brands are in here forever new is definitely taking up the majority of my wardrobe so it really does go to show what a great investment they are and i feel like they weren't just like you know when you're on your kind of hospital bed and you're just placing orders and then later you really regret them? These are not those kind of orders. Like I definitely think these are great pieces to add in to my end of summer wardrobe. I'm so, so happy. Well, my goodness me, I feel like this vlog has basically just been me like word vomiting at you guys. I feel like, you know when you were a kid and you'd get back from the school holidays and you'd get back to town time and you hadn't seen your friends for like weeks. You were so excited to see your friends, so excited to catch catch up letting them know what you've been doing where you've been like what's been going on i literally feel like i've been that kid today like i've just been so excited to get back to vlogging and get back to chatting to you guys i've been talking at a million miles an hour today i've been so excited to show you everything that has been new and i've just been word vomiting at you have i even left this room in this vlog I don't think I have. I mean, obviously I have left this room today. I made myself lunch. I've been answering emails. I've had a couple of work calls. I have left this room in general, just not in the video because I had so much to show you and so much to chat about and update you. I mean, in terms of updating, obviously there's not really been much going on other than like vegetation and laying on the sofa. Um, but I do also just want to say thank you so much for all your well wishes because yeah, it was tough before going in, but 
I'm out the other side and I'm feeling so much better now. And I'm also really glad that I did kind of like push myself, swam every day and also did like a bit of organisation, the kind of things that you'd never really like, you'd never normally get round to. You're also, oh yeah, I must do that, I must do that. Like organising drawers, beauty cupboards, shelves, things like that. It always feels so, so good to have done a good old switch up for that, especially as we are heading into the new season. You know what I'm like, I'm such a seasonal gal. And as we are kind of dipping our toe into the autumnal months, it's really, really lovely just to kind of like prep my home ready for it and just have a little bit of a sweet, seasonal, su seasonal switch up. That's the word that I was going for. So um, yeah, it feels really, really good to be back. And speaking of being back, actually, if you haven't already, I would love it if you could do me the biggest favor. If you could hit that subscribe button, but also turn the notification notific why can i not talk now feel like i've not been talking this much in a week and now my brain is just going too much but if you could turn the notification bell on because i know a few of you guys have been missing my videos recently i had a few of you kind of like suddenly jump in and catch up and be like oh my gosh i've not noticed the last three videos i do upload every tuesday thursday and sunday at 5 p.m but also just to make sure that you don't miss the videos just to make sure that you always know when a new upload has gone live hit that notification bell because i've got it on for a few of my favorite favorite youtubers and it always just really really helps me also helps because i don't know what it is but you know when you're in like work mode and i feel like five o'clock like you should be shutting down you should be winding down and like shutting off for the evening and sometimes that notification is almost like a reminder of like okay i need to finish work stick on a couple of my favorite youtubers and just start winding down for the evening so turn the notification bell on and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button it would just make my day and if you got to the end of this video let's leave the word glow down below in your comment because it has been a real post-surgery glow up this last week and i'm finally feeling like myself again finally moving about and walking i mean i'm definitely not running yet i am not running before i can walk i'm just walking i'm taking it slow the most i've been doing is swimming but i'm really really excited to get back into my cycling my running and all of my gymming so i will see you guys in the next one i really hope you enjoyed this video and i love you so so much bye